This film is a simple story of fellow anglers catching fish in the Katmai area of western Alaska. Named after the volcano, which violently erupted in 1912, creating the mysterious, awe-inspiring valley of 10,000 smokes, the Katmai section of Alaska is approximately two hours flying time southwest of Anchorage on the Alaskan Peninsula near Bristol Bay until you reach the base angling camp at Brooks River in the heart of this fisherman's wonderland. On landing at beautiful Brooks River camp with a spectacular background of the Valley of 10,000 Smokes, it is less than 200 feet from the dinner table to the river outlet where bait casters and spinning enthusiasts always have a circus during the season when the sockeye and king salmon are gathered there preparatory to heading upstream. Brooks River itself is open only for fly fishing. But don't let this conservation move scare those of you who are not expert with the fly rod. There are so many rainbows, graylings, mackinaw, and salmon in the water that it's indeed a rare cast that does not result in action. Brooks River is a wonderful piece of water, easy to fish in all spots, and a short way upstream from the camp is the famous falls where anglers from all parts of the world gather to watch the fantastic leaps of the salmon as they fight their way to the spawning grounds. Every year from mid-June to early August, thousands upon thousands of red or sockeye salmon and king salmon swarm into the streams and lakes of this Katmai area. It is because of this annual invasion of the salmon that we have such abundant and spectacular rainbow trout fishing for the trout thrive on the salmon spawn and young fry. Try and try again. All the salmon do. One of our guests this past season was the well-known master of ceremonies at the National Sportsman Show, lecturer and sportsman, Chief Nadaba. The chief just couldn't believe his eyes when he saw all the fish at the base of the falls and in the runs. So, on went a reddish streamer. <laughs> they call that one an Indian blessing. Well, after landing and releasing two fish, one a rainbow and the other a salmon, the chief wisely filed off the barb on his fly, and soon he was able to release the fish quickly and easily after they had had their acrobatic exercise for the day. We might add, it was a tired but exultant chief who returned to camp at dinner time. For in that one day, he had hooked, played, and released over 600 pounds of salmon and rainbows. A short distance from Brooks is the Valley of 10,000 Smokes, a vast reminder of nature's might with new eruptions of lava and gas dotting the valley floor of volcanic ash. In the streams neighboring Katmai National Monument, such as Battle River, the fish are just as big, just as pugnacious, and just as numerous. In these waters, there are no tackle restrictions. Anything goes, no holes barred. Often, 
as happened with this angling couple, the partner will become tired of waiting to net the other's fish. And so he'll try a few casts himself. And then he too will be in for a battle. Sometimes there's no holding the fish in that particular section of the river. And then there's only one thing to do. Follow along playing the fish all the way down or upstream as the case may be. One of the most beautiful fish and certainly highly prized for eating is the grayling. Unlike conditions in the States, where they have all but disappeared, in Alaska, the grayling are most plentiful. It seems they simply cannot resist the dry fly. And with the chief expertly dropping a small bivisible near the lens, well, let's see what happens. Wham! Grayling are excellent fighters for their size and weight. But these qualities have been overlooked because of their clean, almost gentlemanly manner in taking the dry fly. Standing amid wild roses on the bank of the stream, the chief tried all the dry flies in his kit. And the grayling, they liked every one of them. Graceful, and with a perceptible aroma of thyme about them, the grayling are famous for their rainbow-colored large dorsal fin. Leaving the chief in his grayling heaven, let's head to one of the most beautiful sections of the Katmai National Monument the Coville Cap, on the point of land between Grosvenor and Coville Lakes. Here, less than 50 feet from the northern consolidated angling camp, we cast a daredevil across the current. Now watch the extreme left side of the screen. See the trout hit the lure? Ride him, fella, ride him. This is a Katmai rainbow trout. And as we draw to the close of our simple report of the fishing in the Katmai area of western Alaska, may we remind you that this angler's paradise is actually only a matter of hours away from where you live. Visit this dreamland of all fishermen. Katmai, the angler's paradise. From the 1st of June through September, there's angling action awaiting you.